people. It's uh, time to take it, the carburetors out and clean them because you know it's got to be done anyway. A lot of people are perplexed by that. But uh, basically it's remove the fuel tank, remove the seat, uh, remove the side covers, and usually the uh, air box itself is held on by a couple of bolts somewhere on the Kawasaki's. It happens to be back here, hidden, uh, where you can't see it. There's one on the other side, same place. And the boots have, uh, what I call the boots, the uh, carburetor boots are held on by a little spring. It's a coil spring. Just take your finger or screwdriver or whatever and uh, roll that spring back out of there. Get it going. Pretty easily it rolls right back. I already did the other three. And then the box Believe it or not, by removing those bolts, it doesn't give you much wiggle room, but at least it's not held solid in there. So what I've done is I've squirted silicone on the boots, where they, uh, the insulators, where the carbs attach to the intake manifold. I've squirted silicone on here, so that they can come back loose. They're a little bit tight, old. They need to be refurbished or replaced. Probably going to replace these. There's some life left back in them. They're not totally rock hard. But they're not in great shape either. At least they're free and they're new. On each one of the carburetors where they attach to the intake manifold, there's a, a screw type band. Just unscrew it, you get it plenty loose. You don't want to loosen it up so much that the screw um, actually comes out. Just leave them loose like that. And that's a matter of wiggling the carburetor rack up and down to try to get it free enough to pull out of there. Let's see. It's usually quite a chore to get them free the first time. Basically, that's that rocket back and forth. I'm going to shut the camera off while I mess with it because i got to get around and the camera's in the way. But uh, So I'll be back. Okay, um, what I've done so far is I took my heat gun and I heated up the rubber boots in the back. The outside ones I was able to actually fold back onto themselves. The other ones I actually took and just pushed them into the air box. So the carb rack loose in the front as you can see the boots are pretty much off in the back i used to tell people that if it's hard to do you're doing it wrong well except when it comes to removing carburetors from an inline four one of these old inline four uh, metric bikes it's not easy there's nothing easy about it you have to try different techniques i tried two or three different things finally ended up taking my heat gun heating up the rubber parts that made them flexible enough that I could move them out of the way. Now let's try to, try to remove the carb rack. Different bikes comes out different ways. I'm going to try to take them out the right side of the bike first. See if that helps. Notice I'm trying to go down in the back because I think I have more room underneath than I do on the top. And once the once the, they're loose, the rack is free to move. Now the only thing left to do is to remove the uh, throttle cable from the rack so that we can continue pulling the rack all the way out. Hoping you're seeing this. Just pretty standard hookup. Loop that around until it comes loose, just like a, a clutch cable or brake cable, or anything else. Once that's loose, it's free from the throttle butterfly, but we're not free from the mo motorcycle yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and loosen just the lower nut. I believe that's a ten. 
and uh, slide the cable the rest of the way out. Once I do that, I should be able to take the rack over onto the bench. Come on. I can't get a bite on it. This angle. Awesome. So I'm just going to loosen the top one. We're going to adjust clutch free play later anyway. I'm not concerned about retaining any of these positions. Taking this loose first, and at that point, just kind of pulls it up out of there and give me more room down here. But this one was easier, easy to do like this. Usually, a couple of different ways to accomplish any task working on one of these old bikes. The Kawasaki's are nice, the old vintage Kawasaki's. This one's an 81. Are kind of nice, and they only have one throttle cable. Uh, some people call it a push-pull, it's a pull cable, and the other one is the, uh, I'm assuming the government made them implement, so that when you close the throttle grip, it pulls the um, carburetor closed. A lot of Suzuki's have it that way, and the Makuni carburetors, these are Kahins, they didn't do that. I have seen Makunis with only one on them too, but Typically, the old Kawasaki bikes only have a pull cable. Okay, that's loose. I should be able to lift that out, and there you go. And the rack is free. Make a little visual. Oh, there's some nasty gas in it. Be careful with that. We're going to go right over to the parts cleaner and uh, clean them up. I like to put them in the parts cleaner first. And by the way, I used enough of the diesel, uh, just regular old diesel fuel as parts cleaner. It helps lubricate as well as clean. I want to clean them all up, get all this road grime and stuff off first before I take the rack apart and put it into my carburetor dip. So we'll be right back. <laughs> 